is Yellowstone's geyser eruption a warning sign? Global volcanoes stir as Earth rumbles. Yellowstone National Park, a violent geyser eruption in early 2025, has once again turned global attention toward one of the most mysterious and feared geological features on Earth, the Yellowstone supervolcano. This unexpected geyser explosion, which sent columns of boiling water and steam more than 300 feet into the sky, panicked nearby visitors and reignited age-old questions. Is Yellowstone waking up? Could this dramatic geyser activity be a signal of deeper volcanic unrest? In a remarkable coincidence, within mere days of this Yellowstone geyser outburst, three other volcanoes, Kalauea in Hawaii, Fuego in Guatemala, and Mount Etna in Italy, also sprang to life. Lava fountains, rumbling explosions, and ash clouds blanketed their surrounding regions. The simultaneous activity across such distant volcanoes has stirred public curiosity and scientific debate. Could these eruptions be connected? Is the Earth entering a new phase of volcanic awakening? Yellowstone, geysers and the sleeping giant beneath. Yellowstone's steamboat geyser, the tallest active geyser in the world, has been erupting with increasing frequency over the past five years. But while spectacular geyser activity does not necessarily indicate that the massive Yellowstone supervolcano is preparing to erupt, geysers erupt due to shallow geothermal systems superheated water interacting with fractured rock near the surface, not because of direct magma movement, yet scientists remain vigilant. The entire Yellowstone region sits atop a volcanic hotspot, a massive plume of heat rising from deep within the earth. Below the park lies a vast magma reservoir, partially Molten rock that, if fully mobilized, could trigger one of the most catastrophic eruptions in Earth's history. So far, seismic and ground deformation data from the USGS indicate no immediate signs of magma movement. However, the increased hydrothermal activity raises eyebrows, suggesting the system is highly dynamic and pressurized. Key Lauia Lava Skyward in Hawaii. On the big island of Hawaii, Kalauea erupted dramatically just days after Yellowstone's geyser event. Lava spewed from the crater of Halema Uma'u, painting the sky with orange and red. Kalauea is one of the world's most active volcanoes sitting on a tectonic plate boundary where magma flows easily from deep earth reservoirs to the surface. Unlike Yellowstone, Kalauea erupts frequently and on a smaller scale. Scientists report that this eruption was driven by a buildup of gas pressure within its magma chamber. The eruption followed increased seismic swarms and inflation of the volcanoes. Summit classic signs of imminent activity. While this eruption is unrelated to Yellowstone geologically, both are fueled by hotspots, revealing how these deep earth plumes influence surface behavior across the planet. Fuego, Central America's fiery mountain roars. At nearly the same time, Volcán de Fuego, Volcano of Fire, in Guatemala, exploded into life. Ash clouds soared miles into the atmosphere, forcing evacuations and covering nearby villages in ash and rock. 
Lava streamed down its flanks, and the night sky pulsed with incandescent flows. Fuego sits on the Pacific Ring of Fire, a tectonic belt where the Cocos Plate subducts beneath the Caribbean Plate. This subduction zone creates extremely volatile conditions. Unlike the hotspot-driven activity of Yellowstone or Kalawia, Fuego's explosive eruptions are the result of water-rich, gas-charged magma being rapidly released. Despite being unrelated in tectonic setting, Fuego's eruption underscores a common global theme, increased geothermal pressure and magma mobility, possibly influenced by deep earth processes or more speculatively, by climate-linked stress on the crust. Mount Etna, Europe's giant awakens again. Far across the Atlantic, Mount Etna, Europe's tallest and most active volcano, erupted once again, launching ash plumes and lava fountains into the Sicilian sky. Etna's volcanic system is also highly complex, shaped by tectonic rifting and a deep-seated magma supply. Recent activity followed a series of deep quakes beneath the mountain, which allowed magma to rapidly ascend and breach the surface. Scientists monitoring Etna noted similarities with Fuego, volatile magma, rapid gas release, and a tectonic environment under stress. While no direct causal link exists between Etna and Yellowstone, their nearly simultaneous activity contributes to a larger picture. The Earth's crust, globally, may be experiencing increased dynamic pressure, either due to internal mantle convection cycles, post-glacial rebound, or even changes in Earth's rotation and tidal forces. Are these volcanoes connected? Scientifically, Yellowstone, Kalawia, Fuego and Etna are not directly connected. They sit on different tectonic plates and are driven by distinct geodynamic mechanisms. However, Earth's internal systems are complex and interconnected at the Mahsur deepest levels. Global patterns of volcanic unrest can sometimes emerge due to mantle plume pulsations affecting multiple hotspots, seismic energy transfer across plate boundaries, global stress changes following large earthquakes, climatic influences altering surface pressure loads. While it's tempting to believe these eruptions are signaling a shared cause, current data does not confirm any direct chain reaction. <laughs> 